Hi folks, welcome back everyone again uh, for a new video, new video session where today um, again we are getting back to our patterns, right? So I just wanted to give a you know break for web development and all and uh, let's do some cool thing today. Again, we'll get back to web development, of course, that that's pretty obvious. We have we will be shifting on to that, right? But yeah, today I just wanted to create a pattern. Uh, so yeah, that's why I'm back with another pattern video. Okay, today we're going to create a spiral pattern, right? So uh, spiral is like always uh, something which is mostly used in uh, patterns, right? Most of all, correct? So uh, like we mostly have spiral patterns, um, which we see in any of the patterns which you are uh, actually seeing like uh, let me tell you this uh, where um, when you're using uh, these illusions kind of pictures right there you see mostly spiral kind of patterns are created correct so today let's see and understand uh, how to create a spiral pattern and uh, it's it's a very simple program basically but we'll see all uh, all changes and varieties of these right so uh we'll just experiment on the code and yeah we'll keep exploring the code today to get some final pattern which is so cool and yeah okay let's explore this uh, spiral pattern thing today right so before that uh, before starting off with the content today uh, i would just like to mention this so please do subscribe to my channel first if you're uh, coming new onto this right so then uh, the next thing i would say is uh, please do go back to my channel folks have watch all the videos in sequence if you're uh, starting off with any playlist right so only when you're uh, seeing them in a sequence you'll be understanding the content better and uh, yeah you'll you'll be able to relate it properly and appropriately right so the accurate information uh, will be got Okay, will be received right now. So let's uh, let's start with our uh, video today quickly, right? So pattern, right? So uh, I was I was just talking about the spiral pattern, right? For creating any spiral pattern, you need not have uh, hundreds or thousands of blocks. You just need to have a for loop, and you can repeat the same thing hundreds and thousands of times to create the pattern. Okay. So yeah, let's uh, let's start with this. I'm just taking a for loop. Like I told, we need a for loop basically. Okay, so uh, let's keep the counter value or counter variable as i, and we'll start off the loop at one. Okay, I'm just writing three hundred. It's not compulsory that you only have to write three hundred, but on this four hundred by four hundred canvas, I think three hundred is uh, enough. Okay, for drawing the lines. And uh, we'll count by one each time so that uh, you have those uh, strokes more, right? So that's why, okay? Then um, we can actually go to actions first. We'll take this move forward. So you can move forward by i number of pixels because we have the counter variable, right? So why to struggle and give those many pixels or not, right? So we'll just write move forward i pixels, but without any turn. Only moving will just create this kind of a line. We really don't want this to happen, correct? So let's go to actions and let's give a right turn, okay? You can give left turn also. It just creates the pattern in an opposite way, that's it, right? So I'll show you uh, both the things. So first, let's start off with writing 30. You can see it is creating this kind of a pattern, right? Now, if I say left, it should create something in opposite way like this, right? So both are same almost, so you can give left or right, uh, that's up to you, okay? Based on your imagination and uh, how you want your spiral to be, right? So that's it. However, you have these circular things happening, right? So it's almost the same, okay? But yeah, left is uh, actually more uh, appealing for me, right? Because always your uh, spiral pattern goes like into it, right? I think this is good than right. Yeah, yeah, I think left is good. I'll just keep left because I like this. Then, this is now uh, just boring uh, pattern, right? It's just a spiral pattern. 
but there are no colors and all correct so let's first set the width of your um, okay let's first take set color random color this is simple and easy right oh nice good <laughs> right and yeah let's go to brushes and get set width now now let's start experimenting on this okay so if i say one oh my god this is so thin and you can't really see anything you can barely see something two oh okay three nice nice no no not bad right okay four uh huh five nice six okay cool seven eight this is thick this is becoming thick now nine ten oh <laughs> okay but i think 10 is actually forming a cool pattern right you can see this differentiation in the lines properly and uh, yeah this is uh, this is cool like from here you can see the lines increasing its size and uh, it feels like a cool pattern which is getting inside inside and inside right yeah this is good uh if you don't want to give any number let's suppose um go to variables and get this i here right you can see this oh my god it started off with your uh, one okay and now it it continuously increases the size of width of the pattern and you can see some very cool pattern is forming right because of the thickness you cannot really see the whole lines right it is very thick it's becoming thicker 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 and thicker okay so it started off with one and then two three four so on like 300 pixel width that means just think of the line size right it's so huge okay uh, so you can keep i or we can do something like this also we can go to math we can get this random integer so you can see from 1 to 100 if i'm taking something randomly you can see some mess happening here right but let's not write 1 to 100 instead instead let's write 1 to 10 okay so see this 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 is creating something like a cool pattern you have different different sizes uh, on each line right each stroke is having a different size okay random size basically okay so yeah you can do this something like this right and what if i just change the angle okay so let's see 35 right see this is creating a, a little bit of different kind of a pattern of course it's a spiral thing itself but now you can see multiple spokes right it's not like um, you know ha forming something a uniform kind of a pattern it's something like a messy pattern which is like a messy spiral which is forming right it's not uniform anymore okay right then um, if i write 38 c c is forming something like a not you non uniform pattern right so if you see 30 and if you see 38 it's it's like it's completely different kind of a spiral which is being formed on the screen right so let's check this with 45 wo this is this is something really cool is it not what do you guys say please comment in the comment section below <laughs> okay 45 is something really nice let's explore some other values here uh let's say 48 oh okay you can see this overlap on the lines right this is something really cool it's it's different in terms of the spiral pattern it's it's like forming a uh, really something like a overlapping spiral pattern something like that right if you give a uniform size that would again uh, be different let me just show that to you i'll just um, take this one see see something it's it's like overlapping and it's good it's cool correct and if you just say like thicker lines like 5 c oh my gosh this is something really cool okay let's try with um 50 degrees 
wow <laughs> see this pattern here see it's just it's now looking like a spiral in a spiral kind of a thing right so it's the spiraling spiral <laughs> okay okay let's explore more now let's say 52 wow can you see the changes happening for just a one degree change you can see the complete entire pattern is taking a new form right this is crazy now <laughs> let's let's see the 53 thing it's completely different for 52 and 53 can you see that amazing amazingly done this uh let's check it out with the random value also right let's place it here oh my gosh oh my gosh let's write uh let's write one two five so that um let's say five oh my gosh let's write three to five oh <laughs> okay so let's say 55 this is this is like overlapping pattern now again right 60 this is a hexagonal pattern right you can see this absolutely forming a hexagonal yeah it's cool what do you say uh, you can just please comment in the comment section below then how about 61 see the change guys see the change oh my god two uh-huh good three cool 65 wow wow see this mess happening here but still it's cool <laughs> it's like the spiraling hexagonal kind of right okay okay so let's check it out with um, 71. Mm. Whoa, you can see the it is ending, right? Like 300 strokes thing is uh, over and it's, it's actually creating a spiral spiral now, right? Now, let's write uh, 90. This will create a square, of course, square pattern, right? Wow, <laughs> this is also cool good uh what if i say 91 yeah absolutely it should overlap and create a square spiral pattern square spiraling around it's it feels like that right what if i say 89 89 is uh, a little different but yes uh, it is just forming the same kind of a style right what if i say 79 my god what is this it's, it's something really very messy okay so can you see the change i actually like this 52 thing yeah see how cool it is oh my god this is so cool right like it's just spiraling spiral wow wow i like this 52 thing i i don't know why but it's it's cool see this 523 <laughs> i accidentally gave this 523 and it's creating something really cool again <laughs> okay 53 see the change between 53 and 52 this transition i mean see the transition from 52 to 53 it's completely different right if I say 51, this is again a cool thing, right? 51 is cool. 52 is cool. 50 is this one. You, If you can see these gaps, right? Like this is like a non-uniform pattern which is forming, right? And 51 feels like it's something like a uniform thing and a non-uniform thing which is combined, right? So see how you can explore and create patterns of your own. This is something which is like amazing happening on the screen right see how cool it is you can experiment on this more and more and and yeah you can tell me which pattern you like the most you can comment in the comment section below and let's check this 51 
with the i thing, right? Let's check what exactly happens. Wow, wow. I completely am enjoying this thing. It's it's something really cool. Is it not? It's it's so nice. It's it's too good. It's too good. Great. This is this is cool. Absolute cool. Wow. This is also cool. The thickness of the line is less now. That's it. It's it's just forming the same kind of a spiraling spiral thing, right? So you can keep I if you like this, okay? Uh, and if you can keep this random and teacher thing if you like this, right? Absolutely up to you. But I'm completely enjoying this. You can explore more and more, more and more, right? And let's do it right. Let's change it to right. Ah, uh, yes, I expected this to happen. It was like uh, changing the direction is something like changing the direction itself, right? <laughs> of course. Okay, you can explore more and you can actually comment in the comment section below which one you like the most and uh, which one you kept, right? So, okay. So this was all about our today's session. We were just experimenting on these values. We were experimenting on the code. A very simple code, yet very interesting pattern it is creating. Not pattern, I should say patterns, right? For each and every angle change, you, you can see the difference, right? For one single degree change, it's, it's absolutely doing some amazing work on the screen, okay? Let's let's keep 51 and I'll just execute this. Whoa. Wow. See this guys. See something amazing and cool happening in front of your eyes now, right? <laughs> wow. It's completely cool. Great, great, great artwork it is. nice it's it's absolutely nice isn't it so you can uh, explore more and check it out more right create some cool interesting patterns out of this okay and yeah this was all about our today's session and i'll be meeting you soon in my next session okay so thank you so much for watching this video please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks huh bye bye guys and have a great day all